Hopefully it'll be a little, it'll be a little smaller. You can fit it all on the screen. So this is, and once again, I apologize if you're on uh, Facebook, you're gonna have to probably flip this over at some point if you take a screenshot or anything. This is the first word in the Bible. Bara sayat. Ba, really bara sayat, but when you say fast bara sayat, right? And bit, alif, es, shin, yad, tav. This is the first word in the Bible, and it's what the first scroll of Sabah, or the book of the Bible, is called. Somebody changed it to Genesis later on. So when you say Genesis, that's why I say you gotta know your culture. And that's why I was saying earlier, is it not astounding? That we got a, a lot of us going to assemblies and churches and stuff our whole lives and nobody teaches us. Yeah, the whole the whole thing in a nutshell, right? So Dix, if the son comes out the right family, Aleph is the father. Desh means the head. Shin means destruction. Yao is the hand leading us. And Tav is marked, finished, or if you notice, it also means cross. Right? Put these together. First word in the Bible in its origin. Guess what it means? It means the son who comes out the right family, who's one with the father, becomes our head, being destroyed by being led by the Holy Spirit to the cross. Which means that from the beginning, the Most High already knew he was going to have to have a plan to get us back on track. What we've been talking about today, the whole time. Right? Y'all see that? Facebook? Facebook wants to get me to reverse it. YouTube. Thank <laughs> you.